Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you for assembling today to discuss some very important issues uh, with the panelists, some of the biggest experts in Japan on architecture, engineering, landscaping, you name it. Uh, I want to just go down the row here and, um, and introduce you to the experts who are here today to uh, discuss the issues. To my right, uh, Mr. Edward Suzuki, architect. Professor Hello. Sachihiko Haroshino, Dean and Professor Faculty of Pro uh, Policy Informatics at the Chiba University of Commerce. Professor Hitoshi Ono from the University Hidetoshi, I'm sorry, Hidetoshi Ono from the University of Tokyo. Uh, Ms. Nobuko Shimizu, who today is standing in for Mayumi Mori, who is with us in the audience, so she could take your questions later. But they are the co chairs of custodians of the National Stadium and then Mr. Takashi Moriyama, architect, and our trusty uh, interpreter, Ms. Takamatsu, Takako Takamatsu. Um, so I think uh, I want to spend as little time as possible because we want to move right into the issues. I think we're going to uh, kick off the presentations uh, with Mr. Ono, who will basically give you an idea of the scope of this project and the financials involved, which is uh, part of their biggest concerns of these panelists. So on to Professor Ono. Thank you very much. I'm sorry, give me some time for adjusting some my. Thank you very much for. Okay. Can you hear us? Can you hear me? We are very delighted to be invited to such an uh, the honorable uh, the venue, and uh, the we have an, uh, we are very happy to talk with you about this uh, important issue. And this uh, uh, movement uh, was start was started by the. Uh, Former uh, the objection made made by made by architect Fumihiko Maki, uh, maybe you know a very renowned internationally renowned architect, uh, Pritzker Prize laureate architect, uh, who uh, wrote uh, small articles in a uh, uh, professional magazine, the uh, the pointing out point, uh, pointing out that uh, uh, there are so many uh, the a program and uh, uh, the uh, idea uh, which is in uh, the plan to be uh, constructed for the o uh, Tokyo Olympic game. So today I'm like to talk about uh, the mainly uh, the, the financial aspect of this uh, project. And first of all, I'd like to show that uh, how big uh, this project is. This drawing is uh, made by uh, Fumihiko Maki's office. Uh, the based on the, uh, the drawings provided from the uh, JSC, Japanese uh, Sports uh, or Council, uh, Council, 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 Council. Uh, that, 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 that ship is uh, the, uh, Elizabeth Queen III. So it is bigger than that. And also <laughs> uh, he <laughs> drew some dr Drawing, uh, drawings uh, compared with uh, the current situation with uh, the completed uh, the, uh, the images. So that has raised about the use of so many carving surfaces in its architectural design, about its excessive adjoining facilities like uh, uh, the reception hall or uh, the some museum and so on. Uh, and the fact that it will destroy the surrounding landscape of Meiji Jingu Gaiyan Park. It's in a very historical uh, par uh, park, and also uh, this is beloved by uh, many Tokyo it. However, the immense of its uh, construction cost is also a big problem. This is a con uh, the just uh, as, uh, the comparison of the cost. Uh, among the uh, major uh, Olympic stadiums in the last uh, decades, uh, several decades, that uh, uh, the Tokyo is uh, very, very uh, expensive than uh, other uh, facilities. 
and the uh, red figures show the uh, ha how much uh, it costly. Uh, the the showing the, uh, the how much ba uh, per capita by the audiences. So this is uh, almost a uh, double of the past uh, the uh, facilities. So please next. This uh, calculation. Uh, amounts to a little less than uh, three Nissan stadiums, which is uh, shown on the slide. Three Nissan stadiums, a stadium that has over 70,000 seats at about 60 billion N for cost construction. And the cover uh, and the cost per seat would come out over 1.0 million N and the cost per seat of over 1.7 million N. Why is it is so expensive? The reason is that it's multiple of adjoining facilities and the fact that it tries to bring together three diff different functions, field and track, football, and musical performances. For this different uh, combination, the stadium is depending, dependent on the mechanical uh, facilities in order to accommodate its multiple functions all of which are difficult to put together into a single facility. The facility, therefore, has to have a roof to avoid the risk of canceling musical performances when it rains. And at the same time, because the natural grass required on the football field would need uh, sunlight and ventilation. And furthermore, because the, the track will widen the distance between the stadiums pitch and uh, seating during football games. Movable seating is planned on top of the, the stadium's track. Please uh, go ahead. Uh, but the functions of such multiple purpose facilities generally are not so great in comparison to the large construction and maintenance costs they require. And uh, while, while there is a currently trending towards higher quality, single function facilities. These are the, the current uh, the single facility football uh, stadium in the world. So th that, that in her new Tokyo stadium is in uh, entirely in her contradictory to the, uh, the uh, trend, a recent trend. The JS is uh, fixation over the stadium's multifunctionality comes from their desire to increase the stadium's revenue. They have proudly proclaimed that with concerts and the soccer tournaments, the stadium will bring in about a uh, 100 million or 4 million US uh, 100 million N or 4 million US dollar annual profit. While profit for private business includes depreciation expenses because this is a public uh, enterprise. Such expenses have not been included in the calculation. Things seem easy enough if you don't de need to think about recovering the initial investment. <coughs> and the uh, uh, more elaborate a facility is, the more profit it will generate. And while it would at least be enough better if the business had a public character, a, a concert by a popular uh, musician that can bring in a, a crowd of 80,000 would simply be a form of a show business. This is not in a public uh, uh, the services. How can I explain the uh, rationality of investing in the heart 30.19 billion N of tax money into just the initial cost of providing deductible roof to avoid the risk of raining during these uh, performances. These are uh, uh, the Japanese artists who can uh, attract uh, the, uh, a huge amount of uh, the audiences. These figures are uh, the, uh, the seven means uh, uh, 70,000 uh, the audiences in uh, one concert. So the, uh, any uh, the musician can't attract the, such a uh, huge number of uh, audiences, 80,000 audiences in one, st in, uh, one time. Uh, 
And while they said the uh, consideration must be made in regard to noise and the sound leakage to the surroundings, strangely enough, they have uh, used the uh, Oita Stadium, which does not have uh, any uh, soundproof roof in their calculation of construction costs. <laughs> Even if a large uh, sum of tax money is invested into constructing a uh, multi-purpose facility with mediocre functions and high maintenance costs, there is a high risk that it will eventually become an uh, of the, uh, oversized piece of neglect. Furthermore, there is also a uh, concern concern about the, uh, the stadium's impact on the management of the, uh, like, uh, management like uh, facilities throughout the Tokyo metropolitan area. Uh, please yes. go ahead. Yeah. This is a map which shows uh, how many uh, the big uh, the stadiums in the, uh, Tokyo uh, the metropolitan areas. Then this is uh, surely that uh, the construction, new uh, the intervention might uh, will give uh, a great impact on these uh, existing uh, facilities. FAT should be uh, striving for it, therefore, to simply build a roof for the purpose of blocking uh, the sun and to narrow down the uh, purpose of the stadium to a single purpose sports facility uh, for uh, use after the Olympics. And for this purpose, if seating can be uh, formed on temporary stands established especially for the Olympic, uh, Olympics only, we can uh, reduce the uh, number of the permanent seating in the stadium. Uh, go ahead, please. Two, two or three. Uh, uh, this is uh, the second issue that uh, last month we found an environment and assessment report uh, made before the construction phase, published for the public uh, comment. And it was so surprising that it includes uh, a plan for the training track in the midst of foreground of the museum. This oval-shaped garden is an uh, indispensable component of entire setting for the important museum along with an uh, axial approach street uh, flanked with uh, four rows of uh, ginkgo trees. It is a very famous place uh, and uh, loved by uh, people. It is a really beautiful place in autumn. The location of the training track ruined the effect of the uh, Baroque-like uh, style garden. They are quite indifferent to the uh, responsibility to preserve our cultural uh, heritage. So we sent uh, our letters to the minister and mayor and the chairman of the JSC for, uh, uh, the request for requesting to re recover such spoiling facility just after the Olympic game is over. Uh, please, uh, yes, this is, uh, uh, this is uh, the original plan, which is now uh, remains the uh, same, but uh, they like to de destroy this very beautiful Baroque uh, garden. And uh, th this is, uh, we'll please go ahead. This is the final, uh, my slide. This is a comparison of how much money is invested in the, uh, the uh, construction work among uh, countries in the world, and uh, very few, high percentage of uh, the investment uh, going to the new construction in Japan. So this is uh, the background of this such a uh, stupid thinking among Japanese bureaucracy. So this is uh, the, I think, I believe that uh, this is uh, useful information for the foreign uh, journalists to understand how the, uh, such a sh the stupid thing is uh, going. This is uh, very common in Japan that uh, the new construction is quite uh, the usual. They have uh, no idea of uh, how to reuse the, the existing structures. So this is uh, how the fundamental uh, core point of uh, how what is happening with the uh, Olympic uh, Stadium. This is such uh, a huge extravagances. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm Mrs. Schmidt, I'm the co-chair of the uh, Custodians of National Museum. And it's an uh, alliance of 11 women. Everyone has family to care, elderly to nurse, job to maintain one's life. 
At the same time, all of us have been participating in conservation of old buildings, city movements, uh, amending city planning act, and so forth. When we read Mr. Markey's article, rethinking the new national stadium in the historical context of Gaiem last October, we decided to establish the society. Since then, we submitted petitions to concerned parties or institutions and hosted symposiums several times and make a walking tour around Gaiem. And, well, I want to say we collected more than 14,000 signatures within six weeks. It means they support our assertion, which is is keeping precious green and blue skies on Gaia. And fix and reuse our memory field stadiums. It is their business to do uh, international competition, but we, should, we think it should be discussed whether we accept that building or not. I want to mention one recent opinion poll done by Nick Kay. And those results, I think it's your hand, uh, the booklet. And those results are same as the comments which gathered our signature leaflet. Uh, by the way, we uh, give those leaf, we made this leaflet. And uh, if they read those uh, argument, assertions which make, and if they agree, please write your name and the contact point, and if it's possible, write uh, some comments on there, and we gather it. And those comments are almost the same as uh, uh, the result of the Nikkei poll. It said, well, 61% said uh, the stadium is expensive. And comments is they concerned about uh, maintenance cost. It is said about uh, 460 million per year. And afraid of it will be a burden to our future generations. And only 19.4% said design is cool. But it's other way around. The 80% says no to that. And comment is it's too large and well they don't like well uh, some of them clearly say it, they don't like it and i've heard well even uh the former prime Mo prime minister or chair of olympic organization committee mr mori said it's not my taste but they still stuck on that and after olympic the stadium will be utilized only 50 days a year and so far, JST does not show a practical plan left of 300 days. And let's see, 60% prefer refurbish. And based on comment, they also said refurbish it is the right thing for the mature society. In the context of mature society, the or simple Olympic is the right thing. And many people say, we channel the money which we saved into the tsunami victims and people who were evicted. Uh, the, uh, they forced to leave their home by nuclear accident. So we demand stop dismantling the stadium a half a year, like a grace period, and set up review meeting, including citizens as a stakeholder. In Japan, if there is a congressional approval, public works are carried out without citizens knowing it. And I think it is a very big uh, issue in Japan. Do you know the issues about the super dike in Tohoku area, or a dam and highways? Or Japanese people doesn't have a media to stop that big 
project is a big difference from US or United uh, EU countries where they have uh, referendum or initiatives. And we think uh, we want to talk, to have a, want to have a chance to discuss these issues with athletes, citizens, bureaucrats, politicians, then decide the best way. So I think we wish or hope to make a good example for future generations to stand up and rethink a moment. Thank you. Uh, we'll just uh, move on. So I think the presentations, we should try to keep them uh, within three to five minutes. And hopefully at the end, we will have a lot more uh, time to maybe go over some points that we may miss. But では次は。Hello, my name is Moriyama, and I'd like to uh, talk a little bit about this problem. Uh, I have been using the internet uh, to give information about this issue to as many people as possible. で、あの、今日はですね、この問題あの、大きく7つぐらいに分けられるんじゃないかと思いまして、あの、シートを配りしております。And actually um I have sort of summarized uh, the different issues uh, that are facing us into seven different major points and I have distributed uh, these uh, seven different points to you. Um there's an English translation and a Japanese original as well. The English translation looks like an overview of the multitude of problems with the new National Stadium project by Takashi Moriyama. で、so I just like to go over the titles of the uh, seven different points very very quickly uh, and I can ask you to please read this document at your leisure at a, at a later <laughs> time um, but first of all I would like to point out that there's a problem with the competition itself uh, the way that uh, this uh, design was chosen secondly there was a problem of the scale it's just simply too big third there is as has been described a problem about the landscape how it looks how it fits into the local environment fourth there's a problem with the architectural design itself there's a problem also with the, the construction also um, as was pointed out earlier a problem about how the facility will be managed after the Olympics and also the problem of the construction costs で、この英訳の記事はですね、あの、有志の方にあの、予約していただいたものですので、どうぞ皆さん、あの、ご自由にこれ、あの、記事等で、あの、参考にお使いになってください。So uh, this document has been translated in English by uh, one of our colleagues, uh, one of our um, like-minded uh, friends. Uh, please feel free to use this document however you see fit. はい。で、じゃあ、今日はあの、もう uh, so I'd like to um, show you a few PowerPoint slides as well to um, talk a little bit about uh, this structure that has been uh, planned. So some of you may have actually seen these uh, photographs, uh, these uh, pictures, uh, they were put up on the internet and became uh, rather uh, quite uh, famous. Uh, they show before and after uh, pictures of what the stadium will look like after it's been built. 特に上の写真はあの、今現在はスタジアムと関係ない敷地までえ、今回新しくなるとニュースタジアムが押し寄せてくるというそういう様相を表しています。As you can see uh, in the top two pictures on the left hand side you have uh, the uh, existing um, landscape and then secondly on the right hand side you see how it, this existing landscape the scenery will be completely uh, destroyed obliterated by uh, this huge new stadium. で、下の写真はあのこの外苑の中心にあります and uh, the two pictures at the bottom uh, refer to uh, the very, very famous vista of Tokyo uh, that was described earlier by Professor Ono, uh, which shows you the uh, Meiji Kaigakan, which is the Meiji uh, Memorial Picture Gallery. 
Uh, and you can see again uh, that uh, the uh, new structure will very much destroy this vista. So, of course, I could show you many, many other pictures of how the landscape will be changed, but these are just some uh, very prominent examples. I hope you will keep this in mind when you consider how seriously we take this problem. So I'm going to be showing you another a pair of slides, uh, and uh, these slides are based on the new basic design plan, which was announced last week. Um, I would like to talk to you about some of the uh, issues that are raised as a result of this new basic plan. っていう必要があるあの、屋根、柱、壁、床、梁とあるわけですけれども、え、今回このスタジアムの屋根の素材がですね、え、燃えない材料になってないということがあの設計図上から読み取れました。so one specific example of a problem that we found is that um, uh, Japanese architectural construction laws are very, very severe. Uh, it states that um, very uh, fundamental um, parts of a structure of a building, uh, such as the walls, the roof, uh, the, um, the floors, um, etc., beams, uh, must be made of non-flammable materials uh, to avoid a terrible disastrous fire. However, looking at uh, the plan that was submitted, uh, we see that uh, the roof uh, membrane or film uh, is not uh, covered uh, by, this, uh, by this restriction. In other words, it is not proven to be um, non-flammable. Uh,その理由は形が三次局面になっている。で、それを折りたたもうとしているというところから矛盾が生じているというのがあの原因です。um, the reason for this uh, non-flammable materials uh, is that uh, it the structure of the roof um, is very, very unique. It is something called three-dimensional um, yeah. curves. Uh, it is not a straightforward structure. As a result, uh, there needs to be um, a way to be able to fold this material. Therefore, uh, the, the use of uh, certain materials was uh, very limited. Uh, as a result, uh, we think there is a fundamental problem, a flaw in the uh, basic plan, whether this uh, roof can actually be uh, constructed. The next slide. This is a problem of the construction of the building. The construction of the building is one of the problems of the building. Uh, this next photo, uh, picture shows you another problem. Um, in other words, uh, another problem uh, in th at this structure uh, might violate existing architectural or construction laws. As you know, there are severe, uh, strict restrictions about how big a structure can be in comparison to the land that it occupies. And it seems uh, that, uh, according to the current design, uh, the structure will be too big for the land that it occupies. この um, there are um, different um, consequences of this very large structure. Uh, for example, if you look uh, at this photograph, it looks as though the uh, new structure is just on the ground. But actually, uh, the ground underneath it is actually elevated land. It's eight meters higher uh, than uh, the surrounding um, uh, areas. As a result, uh, the areas nearby and underneath are going to be very, very darkened. In other words, what I'm saying is that uh, if you consider that this elevated land, this foundation on which the building is built, is really actually part of the uh, structure itself, that means uh, that uh, the entire structure, including the elevated land, is probably too big uh, for the land that it occupies. It would be against the law. ま、以上あの、こういう結果が出てしまうほどにこの計画には当初からあの、非常な問題点を払んでいて、その結果今、中間報告ですらこのような状態になってるんじゃないかということが予想されます。
So these are some of the prominent examples uh, that I would like to bring to your attention. Uh, however, I think these two um, examples uh, simply reflect the fact that uh, this fundamental design uh, was too difficult to realize from the very, very beginning. Um, this is simply a midterm report. Uh, the basic design plan was only announced last week, but we would like to keep on updating you in the future about other problems that come to our attention. I would also like to um, emphasize that uh, there are other problems that we already have uh, come to um, notice or realize. However, uh, just for uh, limited, uh, because we're limited for time, I'm just talking to you about the main two problems that come to mind. Thank you for your attention. Sensing a need to pressure the Japanese government from the outside as well as from the inside, I started an English petition about a month ago along with my partner, Ms. Uh, Mayumi Mori, who is heading the original Japanese campaign. To date, we have received close to 2,200 2, signatures. Frankly, I have never been so emotional as I am today regarding an architectural project, let alone not mine. What's more, as a professional architect, a creator and not a destroyer, it hurts me to oppose a project instead of endorsing it. But I cannot help myself as the proposal at hand is so wrong in so many ways as enumerated in our petition. In a nutshell, the overpowering enormity of the new stadium design is in direct conflict with the Tokyo 2020 Olympics catchphrase, Compact Olympics. Through this campaign, I have come to realize how much the general public is not aware of the problem at hand, let alone its immensity. Only when we explain the project in detail are they all shocked and immediately oppose it. This makes me wonder how knowledgeable the authorities, namely the IOC, the JOC, the JSC, the politicians, the bureaucrats, and such people overseeing the project are of the project's problems. It appears to me that individually and personally, they are aware to some extent and have their own doubts and concerns. But as a member of an organization and fearing what others might think, and in an attempt to defend their respective positions and titles, they have been silent up until recently. Personally, I do not wish to blame anyone, nor is there anyone to blame. The project just started on the wrong foot and it is only snowballing towards a wrong end ever since. The first Olympics of 1964 in Tokyo created an inheritance we now regret, namely the covering of Nihonbashi, the symbol of old Edo and new Edo, with the Shito Expressway to meet the Olympic traffic. We are now only trying to stop a similar mistake many times more in scale from happening. The important point at this point is not to indulge ourselves with our differences, but focus on the common interests we all share. And our common interest, without a doubt, is to stage an Olympics that is best for Tokyo, the best for Japan, and the best for the world. And the only answer to meet this common interest is to reconsider the present design proposal and start anew. My wife and I are personal friends of JOC President Mr. Takeda. And as such, we have written him personally, urging him to reconsider the decisions already made. Unfortunately, his answer in short was, it's too late. But in fact, it is not too late. Kume Seke, a major design firm in Japan, had conducted a feasibility study of remodeling the existing stadium to meet the 80,000 spectator, spectator requirement prior to the international design competition. And the result was that it could be done at half the cost and in three years, one for design and two for construction. Therefore, it is totally possible at this stage to meet the World Cup rugby deadline of 2019 with a remodeled stadium. In conclusion, we beg the IOC, the JOC, the JSC, the politicians, the bureaucrats, and all others involved in the project to, to reconsider the decisions already made to make way for a clean slate. The world would admire and hail their courage and integrity to reverse their decisions in order to create and stage an Olympics that is a win-win situation for all concerned. 
Thank you. So last but uh, would be the talk about environment. And my fear is environment. So please look at this one newsletter. And this is a message uh, from environment uh, field. And the next page uh, from the president. And I was president of IAIA. This is International Association for Impact Assessment. The major such uh, organization, uh, the big one. The members coming from uh, 120 countries, just like United Nations. That means uh, impact assessment is very universal, not only um, developed country, but also, de also developing country, both. So very many uh, members. And I talked about ethics as a professional. And the voice is coming from architect. We should be ethical to make this kind of decision. So in this meeting, as Edward said, we have still enough time to reconsider this. So, and you can see my background, and I put bio at the last page of this. And anyway, I'd like to show you uh, my point. And uh, how many, how many problems this plan has? You can see easily. So, but the process is uh, very, very important. And from my viewpoint, in Japan, impact assessment process not so good. System is still behind the standard, national, uh, international standard in domestically. But in the case of international cooperation area, like Japan International Cooperation Agency, JICA has a very good uh, uh, system that is imbalanced social consideration system just like uh, World Bank, just like World, World Bank has. And they, even the people of World Bank, they appreciate our system, JICA system. And I will show you some example uh, from my handout. So and another one, uh, also middle point, you can see this is a letter uh, I sent to uh, the president, uh, Honorable Thomas Bach, IOC president. I sent this letter on uh, June 5th, so almost a week ago. And I wrote this, Dear President Bach, as an expert on the in presidential position of the International Association for Impact Assessment, IAIA, and also the examiner on environment and social Constellation of Japan International Cooperation Agency, JICA. So I should say something about this. And why our system is not so good? So you could see easily, but in Japanese, sorry, but uh, you could see the figure in this space, on this page. And on the top of the right of the corner of the top, you could see the comparison, the numbers of uh, cases applied impact assessment. And right hand side is uh, China, huge, huge. And the center, middle is uh, United States. And left hand side, small point, it is Japan. Very small number. Why this happened? The concept of impact assessment is quite different from the international standard. So if the concept just like international standard, the numbers in Japan must be same as the United States. China is much bigger country, so they have many cases, but Japan, very small number. This is a basic problem. So impact should be the process to hear the voices. It should respond to the public concerns. People should have many public concerns, so we have to respond in the process impact assessment. But our system is not so good, we cannot do this. For example, in case of this project, they did not conduct good process. So, um, but it should be. Uh, that one, it's a comparison proposed plan and the present stadium, but these are all explained by uh, my colleagues, just like that. And next one, please. Yeah, comparison, the future, but uh, present stadium like this. Which is better? It's 
very easily. So the comparison of the existing stadium and the planned one, the outer line, very di difference. And also the cost is very big. Uh, 10, no, no, uh, it's 1,000 yen. 100 yen. 100 billion yen. 100 billion yen. 100 billion yen difference or more. So it is very stupid, stupid plan. Yeah. So I should say that one should follow the 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 agenda 20 of 21 of Olympic movement. Next slide, please. Uh, Olympic movements agenda 21, and it was made in 1999 in Seoul, and also endorsed in Rio, uh, same same year. And June 1999, so that's 15 years ago, just this moment. So 3.2.1 said methodology of environment action for Olympic movement. So those responsible will have to ensure that the prior environment impact studies is, is carried out to ensure for the culture, social, and natural environment. But as, as you know, in Japan, we only have natural environment. But in the international world, they should have not only natural environment, but so social environment, also cultural and historical environment, very comprehensive. They have very big, uh, wide scope of checking. So these kind of things uh, should be public concerns. So 3.22 is a protection of a conservation uh, area and the countryside, pretty easy to understand. The third point, 3.23 sports facilities. This is quite important. As our colleague said, a special effort must be made to encourage the best possible use of existing sports facilities to keep the, them in good condition and improve them by increasing safety and reducing their environment impact. Is this possible? We think it is possible. Then the case of new sports facilities must be confined to cases in which demand cannot be satisfied renovating existing facilities, but it could be possible. As Kume Seke, they had already. And it was done very secretly beside the sea under the guide of uh, Tokyo Metropolitan Government, some section did this. But they hid, hide, uh, hide, hid, hidden, hid. They hid the report. That's a problem. So, next slide, please. I should say, this must be prior to project starting, so the environment assessment, true impact assessment is like this. For rationality, we have to scientific approach by applying system analysis. That means the comparison alternatives is must. And we should, we should include the renovation of existing stadium should be included. The second point is fairness. For fairness, information disclosure and public participation. And what grade of public participation, please? The lowest level informing only and hearing voices, the third levels reply, but formally reply only. But the fourth meaningful reply should be made. It is guys dialogue, discussion should be provided. Then so I would like to say, finally, the credibility is very important to check the process. Peer reviewing is key, especially the third party experts should be involved. So this is a major point I would say. So impact assessment in Japan in domestically, not so good. But uh, international uh, cooperation area like JICA, we have very good system. So we can do this. And also we can help us the help from the outside of Japan, like IIA people. So anyway, we can do much better process. Thank you. Last, Mr. Ito Toyo, famous architect, and Professor Nakazawa, 
they are very concerned with these issues. They can't attend today this conference, but they ask me to convey their statement. The, those statement is uh, the last page of that booklet, but it arrived yesterday, so we don't have much time to translate. So I will read their uh, statement briefly. Ito先生です。Ito先生は基本計画の問題点を三つ挙げてらっしゃいます。so I'd like to begin by um, just summarizing quickly uh, Mr. Ito's statement. Uh, he says that he has uh, three major concerns uh, regarding the, um, the current uh, basic design plan. This one, on the last page, on the last one, last page, last page, Page Niji, Niji Niji it's page 21 of the handouts. The first problem uh, that he um, points out is that although the original plan has been scaled down, in spite of the fact that it's smaller, uh, we see a tremendous uh, potential increase in costs. Uh, second point is that um, although uh, this uh, plan has been scaled down, uh, this presents new problems in that uh, the new scaled down version lacks what he calls the dynamism, the sort of expansive um, nature of the original design. As a result, not only people in the architectural world, but just average people uh, don't feel that the new design is appealing. Also, as was mentioned earlier, uh, not only uh, is the initial cost for this structure very, very high, but the running costs, because uh, it is a multi-use facility, multi-functional facility, the running costs will also be considerable. Uh, so as a result, he feels very strongly that uh, the plans for the current basic design plan uh, should be frozen and some time set aside so that serious discussions can be uh, had on whether and how to possibly renovate the existing national stadium. Yeah. Uh, uh, there are precedents uh, for this, uh, for the 2012 London Olympics, also for the Berlin Olympics many, many years ago. Uh, the main stadium was simply a renovated stadium. In other words, uh, the Olympics uh, allowed a stadium to uh, exist uh, and used a past history uh, that existed in the stadium for their games. Uh, uh, when we consider that uh, the uh, stadium design for the future should be one that ref represents the needs uh, of uh, the 21st century, and one of the big concepts in the 21st century is this idea of sustainability, we believe that by renovating the stadium, we will be able to better respond uh, to uh, the needs of the 21st century and also to the needs of Japan, which is a fast graying population, uh, population with uh, fewer and fewer children going forward. We think we can uh, present a new model to the world for the future. で、最後に、えっと、情報公開されないままに不透明な施設計画が進んでいることに市民は大きな疑問を抱いております。公正に加工を残さぬように市民にも広がって議論が必要であることを通説に思っております。uh, the last one I would li uh, like to make, uh, this is Professor Ito uh, speaking. Uh, there has been so little information disclosure about the process uh, by which this design was chosen. Uh, because of this lack of transparency, uh, there are great uh, feelings of suspicion among the general public about uh, matters pertaining to this uh, design. Uh, therefore, in order to avoid uh, leaving a negative burden uh, to our um, f to future generations, we think we should have uh, dis open discussions begin as quickly as possible. And now I'd like to talk to the very last page um, of the handouts, uh, which is a statement a brief uh, from uh, Mr. Nakazawa, another architect. Oh, I'm sorry, he's a, a sociologist, excuse me, an acad academic. Meiji Jingu no Naiyen to Gaiyen wa hitotsu no kankei ni arimasu. 
Um, as many of you know, uh, the Meiji Jingu uh, area, the Meiji Shrine area, is composed of an outer garden, the Gaian, and the inner garden, the Nayan. They are represent an integrated or unified whole. Uh, they uh, together uh, represent, express uh, what is the perhaps the essence or epitome of uh, Japanese sensibilities, which is that uh, human beings always try to strive to uh, achieve harmony with nature. Uh, because of this, if we were to uh, destroy or adversely affect this harmony, uh, this harmonic balance that has been achieved uh, here in this area, I think we risk possibly damaging or destroying Meiji Jingu, uh, this entire area, Meiji Shrine area itself. Uh, because uh, this area represents this delicate balance between uh, nature and uh, human beings, as I mentioned earlier, if we destroy uh, this wonderful expression of this uh, balance, this harmonization, uh, this harmony between man and uh, nature, I think the Japanese spirit, the Japanese people will lose something very, very valuable. Um, as a result, um, I think it is very, very important uh, to be able to revive uh, this area and have it become uh, the new focal point or the new um, origin point of expressing uh, the important point points of Japanese culture. Thank you for your attention. M may I add something about cost? Initially, uh, this design, the new stadium design, was uh, Sanzenoku was, what, uh, 300 billion? Yeah. yeah. Now, they scaled down 20%. But the price has come down almost 50%, and I s fail to see the logic in that. Now, uh, their newest estimate at this time, at this preliminary stage, is 170 billion yen. Now, any reliable architect would tell you that it's impossible to predict at this stage what it would really cost. We have to produce what we call construction documents, working drawings, and have bids made, and only then will we ever find out how much it will really cost? Now, this 170 billion yen was estimated at a unit cost that was used last year. And since last year, prices have risen at least 1.2 to 1.5 times. And when the working drawings are done and official bids made for the final design, I wouldn't be surprised if it's you know, gone up to two times the present price. And you know, the, the bid uh, for the demolition was unsuccessful because of this problem. It was too costly. Thank you. OK, uh, we're quickly running out of time. Uh, the panelists have agreed to extend uh, the session maybe by 10, 15 minutes, but we also have another session in here afterwards. So let's start taking questions from the working press immediately. Uh, Janice, and uh, please give your name and affiliation for your question. Dennis Normile, uh, writing for, uh, on this occasion, Engineering News Record, the American Construction Industry Magazine. Um, Two quick questions. Is Zaha Hadid aware of the opposition to this plan and that she had any reaction? Number two, um, was there any um, influence or pressure from the construction industry to go for a new stadium instead of renovating <laughs> an older stadium? Zaha's office is aware of the opposition, but uh, the, um, the person that was uh, sending out the message from the office said that oppositions always happen. Um, As usual. Uh, yes, it's, it's a, a normality. As usual. Yes. Hmm. Uh, did somebody answer the second question? Um, do you want to translate into Japanese the, the second question? Okay. 
っぱり建設商というのが国土交通省にあるんでしょうか、うん、の方からなんかその、えー、圧力が上がったんでしょうか、うん、その、えー、改修工事ではなく、全く新しいスタジアムを建設するようにという、そういうようなプレッシャーというのがありましたでしょうか。If I may, personally, I think it's for economics increase.、Uh, it's the same reason that all these super dikes that nobody wants in Tohoku are being constructed for you know, hundreds of miles, kilometers. As I mentioned, that,、uh, uh, this Japanese economy is、uh, the totally depending on the construction industries. And、uh, it's a ki part of kind of the, the Keynesian policies, the, which is what Which succeeded in、uh, 60s and 70s. For instance, in, in the previous Olympic Games, they constructed uh, the uh, Shinkansen、uh, bridge train and also uh, the highway system at that time. And it promised uh, the later uh, development of Japan. So then, uh, this is uh, kind of the,、uh, the success dream for all the、uh, lawmakers and administration, as administrators. But the、uh, age has、uh, totally changed. The, our society is already、uh, had, uh, saturated, and、uh, demo demography uh, has uh, 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 already uh, started to change. We are decreasing the、uh, population. We will、uh, decrease the、uh, demand. So, but、uh, they are still、uh, obsessed with、uh, constructing something, and they believe that、uh, the construction, massive construction, always stimulates uh, uh, the, uh, the economy. This is the、uh, start of the,、uh, the, uh, the mistake, I believe. Hello, I'm Teddy Jimbo with the,、uh, with the video news.、Um, if we are to、uh, renovate this existing uh, stadium, um, what are the actual specifications that h a s to be upgraded? What, what are the conditions that h a s to be met? Uh, in order to use the existing、uh, stadium? And what kind of money are we talking about? How much does it cost? And why is it that the Olympic Committee, Japanese Olympic Committee, does not want to do that, to just renovate the existing、uh, stadium instead of building a new one? If you have some rationale why they don't want to do it, please. Well, I'm repeating myself, but uh, the. Uh, Estimate for the remodeling was estimated at half the current、uh, estimated price of 170 billion,、mm -hmm. which is about 70 billion yen. Now, again,、uh, why new one instead of a remodeling one? I think is to increase the abenomics effect. Yeah, they might have this kind of belief, but it might, it might not, not be. True. And so, in the project making, we could not do have the process of rational thinking. Only some image, image in forward. So, they think something like this kind of thing might be good. But they, I would like to say, they did not think it more rationally. So, if you take this kind of cost, very expensive compared with other stadiums, but they think it might be possible because. They, in this case, it is not a、uh, private company business. The money would come from the society. Money could, could come from a tax. So they think it might be okay. Or some total, something like that. Anyway, so this kind of thinking. So if this kind of information is provided in the in pre,、uh, forward, so we could consider these kind of things. So we could make dialogues. What is rational? What is fair? What is the future image? So we could share this kind of future image. But they do not,、uh, they do not provide these kind of things. After some kind of step, and then some decision was made, then they provide information. So they would like to say, it is too late. But I'd, I'd like to say, not too late. We have not time. We are, after all, stakeholders in this project,、mm. but they're not treating us as such. Hi, I'm <coughs> excuse me, Jacob Edelman with Bloomberg News.、Um, uh, first question is for、uh, Mr. Moriyama, I think.、Um, 
Uh, you said that the, the roof is flammable, or thought to be flammable. Um, I guess how is that known? What's the actual material and how is it established that it's flammable? Is there sort of a classification of materials that can be used for a roof or, or other, other uh, you know, building aspects? And this doesn't fall within that classification, just some clarification on that. Um, also, uh, I'm wondering sort of, uh, and this is I guess for, for anyone, kind of going forward, are there uh, permitting or approval steps that the city or the, uh, the government uh, is going to have to, um, to take where they could say yes or no, um, this can or can't be built? Um, and also in terms of these, uh, these things where, um, uh, uh, you know, ag again, the roof or, or, or the size um, that, that do, uh, that you're saying are um, illegal, uh, is there is there a venue to, to challenge um, to challenge some of this uh, in in court perhaps? ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっ
So um, again, this problem arises from the fact that uh, the roof must be retractable. Uh, and uh, in order to solve this problem, uh, you either have to give up uh, the retractability of the roof, or otherwise you have to change the fundamental design so it doesn't have these multiple waves or curves. Then the wave changes, the design of the roof is changed. That's the problem. And I think it's a very, very unfortunate uh, ch uh, choice uh, that uh, must be faced, uh, be, uh, that must be made, because by changing or eliminating uh, these uh, beautiful curves or waves, you basically um, destroy the essence of Ms. Hadid's design. To answer the second question, up until now, there, has, there had been a 50-meter height restriction in this area, in this district garden. But to accommodate uh, Ms. Hadid's design, they raised it to 70 meters just accommodate the new design. IOC really s uh, strictly stipulates that legal restrictions, building laws be kept, be preserved to accommodate new as well as old designs. Uh, they also stipulate that the environment be preserved as much as it is existing today. None of these are respected. Yeah, it's quite an important point. Yeah. This our attempt mm. to try to stop them yeah. from doing yeah. this. Yeah. Well, yeah. please give us a chance. <laughs> yeah, if the Help people, us. yeah, people know this problem, they we could stop, because this is very unfair process, because they have land use plan, but they secretly change plan uh, the the land use regulation. This is very important yes. point, as he said. Yeah. Yeah. And there's no. Um, civilized democratic country elsewhere in the world that does not do an in environmental impact assessment study and let the people know we have not been in the known. It's all been kept secret. We asked them, they haven't responded. There's no refer referendum as such. This is not a democratic country. Uh, and I, I can I make, oh, sorry. Excuse, <laughs> excuse me. Uh, the Mr. Suzuki, uh, the, the change of the, uh, the height limit yes. is not for uh, the Zaha Hadid's uh, entry project, but uh, this is for the competition. Uh, yes. For enabling the uh, competition, yes. they release the, uh, the height limit. Uh, <coughs> okay, um, please try to keep the question compact. We want to get a couple more in, and we really do have to vacate the room soon. Thank you. Regis Arnaud, Le Figaro. I will make a compact question for a compact city. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you say you don't want to blame anybody, but shouldn't you blame, shouldn't you start to blame people like, for example, Ando or the committee who just, pr I mean, apparently decide the whole design without even coming to Tokyo? And how can Mr. I mean, Mr. Ando is by fact de facto a, a complice to this. So why don't you name the, uh, some people? Because otherwise you just, if you accuse nobody, nobody is guilty. So thank you. Well, <laughs> All we want is a change in their approach, and um, we just don't want to waste time blaming people. And if that would help, we might, but uh, I don't think it would. All we want is uh, just a, a, a right decision to be made for, for the good of the people. We have approached, well, the the CAI, the organization uh, that's doing this original campaign, has tried to approach ando -san many, many times, but uh, no, res no response. Mm. Mm. Uh, <coughs> okay, Jimbo.森山さんにあの、じゃ、日本語で。はい。あの、先ほどのあの、天井が、あの、可燃性の問題なんですけど、これはじゃ、何か別のマテリアルにして、その消防法にもマッチし、なおかつ、あの、あのデザインを支えられ
are there other uh, materials that could be used uh, and this design is still be kept? Uh, in other words, materials that would not uh, violate the fire laws of Japan. And secondly, since uh, this is a violation of the fire laws of Japan, are we to understand that the decision uh, to choose uh, Ms. Hadid's design completely um, overlook the possibility that uh, laws such as fire laws might be um, violated? えっと、まず最初のその材料がですね、あるのかっていうことについて言いますと、屋根を開放、開放したりしつつ、光も通して芝生も育てて、え、音も外に漏れないでっていう今回の全要望もあの満たす素材はありません。uh, first of all, uh, in regard to uh, having a, a roof material uh, that uh, could uh, be used that would allow, um, for example, it to be closed, uh, but still al in allow enough light sunlight uh, uh, to be uh, able to uh, come in so that the turf would uh, grow and still be able to shut out sound, uh, there is no such material that could be used. Uh, however, uh, in trying to meet all these requirements, uh, the basic design uh, plan people uh, pr put together what they could uh, consider to be the um, only possible way to, um, to meet uh, these uh, design needs. Uh, but unfortunately, the uh, result that they came up with uh, goes against the fire laws. で、次にこうなった事態について先ほど、え、今回のコンペの審査員との安藤太郎さんの件ありましたけども、僕個人的には彼にものすごい責任があると思ってます。and uh, in regard to your next point about uh, the process uh, by which the design was, show, uh, was chosen, in other words, uh, there was a, was a previous question about uh, the jury committee and Mr. Ando's uh, responsibility. I personally have felt very strongly that Mr. Ando bears tremendous responsibility for this current issue. <laughs> コンペを選択する時の中心的な人物もアンドタラオさんそれで今現在基本設計の承認をする有識者会議の中における唯一の建築系の有識者がアンドタラオさんです uh, there are several reasons for this. Uh, even before uh, the uh, actual competition was held, uh, in regard to uh, the uh, selection of the uh, jury committee members, uh, Mr. Ando played a very, very important role. He played a very important role uh, in the actual um, uh, competition, uh, the judging uh, process. And in regard to the current uh, basic design plan that has been uh, decided, in regard to the advisory committee uh, that was assigned to overlook this process, he is the only member with an architectural background. ですから、本来でしたら彼はあのこの建物に関することに関する決定についての責任は非常にありますし、それを建築業界の中では本来その事についてあの意見を求めたり話し合いを持ったりするしなければならないと思うんですが、今のところ彼がそれに全く応じて
having uh, Mr. Ondo with his uh, specific background uh, put in a position of being uh, the head of the uh, jury committee and the head of the advisor council perhaps was the reason that so many different problems arose. ただ、その安藤太郎さんの業績っていうのは非常に大きな方ですから、だからこそ日本の建築家の業界を挙げてこの問題には真剣に取り組む必要があるとも思っています。uh, having said all of this, however, um, we uh, certainly recognize that Mr. Ando has an illustrious and, uh, and very uh, great, uh, famous uh, background. Uh, for He's had a wonderful career. And um, because he does hold such an illustrious position in the architectural world in Japan, I think it is a responsibility of the rest of the architectural world in Japan to try to stand up and voice their concerns and solve this very serious problem. Thank you. I'm afraid that just about does it for the time of this, um, unless there is an absolute compelling question out there. I have to thank our panelists for sharing this yeah, extremely compelling information. Absolutely. So we have a uh, final yeah. word if yeah, anybody yeah, yeah, As I said, I s sent this letter to Mr. Baha, and uh, I have not a res response from him yet, but uh, I alerted him to the possible stains this situation might bring to glorious history of the Olympic. And especially, I would like, we would like to re request to immediately order JOC and Tokyo Metro government to stop the JOC from demantling the existing statue. Then we could have time to re make reconsideration. And so we should say the existing national stadium is the demolition is too what do you say? Mottainai. Mottainai, yeah. It is a uh, uh, waste, you, you know. So we have to think that this is a kind of mind or such an ethical thinking of the future, like uh, sustainable development. We should conserve good things. And uh, we think this is iconic, that she stadium is uh, very good things. So we would like to keep this, conserve this. Any other last word from my panelists? One point, the saigono, stokoto. Moshi gozaimashitara, dozo. And then we have to run out of here, guys. <laughs> well, as mentioned before, the general public are really not aware of this problem, and we would really appreciate your help to spread this news. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Okay, uh, it's our tradition. I'm quickly going to give all our panelists one year membership to the club. Please. Please come around. I think you have a, a room full of uh, journalists who really want to study this uh, story very closely. Thank you very much.